there are benefits for GDI. And when we compare it to port injection, GDI wins out every time. GDI produces lower emissions, particularly at startup and cold engine operation. GDI can also allow for higher compression engines. Now that gives us more horsepower. That's where we can have a small engine producing good power and performance that the customer likes. I think everybody has seen Ford's EcoBoost commercials where the truck pulls more, carries more, and gets better fuel economy? Well, that's a GDI engine. GDI offers better fuel economy, especially when it's paired with the turbocharger, as in the EcoBoost system. So what's not to like? Since the intake valve doesn't have fuel flowing through it, it doesn't get clean. The engine, and especially the valves, get carboned up very quickly. Some manufacturers have figured this problem out and some still haven't got it. The symptoms of this carbon buildup, of course, is hard starting and multiple misfire codes. We can see the carbon built up on this valve. It builds up in the spark plug as well as the valves and it does so quickly when the manufacturers haven't taken steps to reduce it. So there's differences in addressing this carbon buildup between the manufacturers. It seems to come down to how the tip of the injector sprays the fuel and where it sprays the fuel. We can see this injector here with the injector nozzle holes right there with the red arrow. And you can see they're on a cone and they're shaped in order to spray at a certain area. The fuel injector sprays fuel directly into the combustion chamber toward the intake valve, thus allowing fuel and its detergents to flow past the valve and clean the valve.